there's some big boat that has a CPA with us of 0 0.5, or did have one of 0 0.5. I fell off of it because he's apparently going to pass on my starboard side, but now it looks like he changed course. So my IIS only gives me the info, so I put it in here. So he is about three and a half miles away, bearing, what did I say, 288. So here is about here-ish. And then he's heading 85, like that. So we should be passing him by a stern. I know, it's nice if you have an AIS that actually tells you everything right away and you don't have to do all of this. Especially if there's more traffic, this is getting a little bit hectic, especially if you have to do it for various boats. But it's better than nothing. I did get a good rest for the second part of the night, so I'm feeling a little better this morning and I'm really happy that we can have some sailing. It's just so beautiful. Oh, we're slow, but we're sailing. We passed the halfway there mark last night and now it's another 100 miles more or less to go, I'd say. We're in Guatemalan waters. We're doing around three knots with the sails. And we have not a lot of weight. So we must have a little bit of current in our favor maybe. We have about six knots of wind. All right, enough of the talking. Gotta get to work before it gets too hot. see those two flags and I hope that that's where the net is in between and there's a little boat over there. It's the first fishing net that I see on this trip. I had hoped there wouldn't be any but obviously there are. Like more wind than it actually is but yeah of course like if you're going with five knots into like three knots of wind I think Boga found a medium to express her anger about this heat and being underway for ages and not being able to go to the toilet. The coconut is... Yep. It's not gonna survive. There's a boat approaching and it's not on the AIS. Looks like fishing boat size. It's always a bit eerie when you're like out at the sea like this and there's like a boat coming and they're not registered anywhere. I don't always get anxious when I see boats around or approaching, but especially if there hasn't been any, I guess, and then there's the first ones in a while, or it's just one instead of like a couple. I don't know. And it does give me a little bit of a 
I did put the engine back on, um, just to, because now there's a trawler on my port side and then there's a little conga, like a fishing conga to my starboard. I just don't want to go through here with 1.5 knots and like just hang out for a long time just because it makes for more opportunity. I, it probably sounds stupid, but it's just, I just feel better with it. Shit, now they're turning around coming towards me. I know, they're coming right at me and then they're going like next to me, waving. That was definitely quite the nerve-wracking moment. This fishing panga with three people in it and their faces were covered. They're coming directly towards my boat and they're shouting some stuff that I didn't understand. So I opted to stay out of sight and not wanting them to realize that I'm a woman alone on my boat in the middle of the ocean. And while they're probably just curious, I felt more secure hiding inside my little boat. Just getting ready for the evening slash night and yeah, another 60 miles to go. The weather forecast at least is saying it should be dry, so no too much potential crazy storms. Well, basically it's another very long day trip, just overnight, but it seems a little bit more measurable now. And Yeah, I hope that we're gonna make it through the night safely and then be in the marina tomorrow morning. We just had a little dragonfly land on Carl. What is a dragonfly doing like 10 miles offshore? That's crazy. Oh wow, you're a little late, huh? Oh, there you go. Now she's here. It's back. Boga, 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 boga! So it's pretty bright, which is nice because one can actually see quite a bit. There's a couple of fishermen out here, so sleep is a little scattered. But it seems they're mostly sort of stationary. And they don't have any position lights, they just have like one light. You don't really know what they're doing, you just know they're there. Which means that you have to keep an eye out for them until you pass them. Who guys sleeping here with me in the cockpit, on the cockpit floor. Luckily the birds are gone because she was, wow. She was going crazy after all the frigate birds that were trying to land on the mast. miles to the entrance of the marina. That's another three hours, three and a half hours. And we can see land. We didn't see land for the first two days at all. And then last night it was the first time that we saw some lights at land. Actually. And now we can see some land. Ooh, sorry.
Alrighty, I should be all prepped for the entry. Took down the sails, set up the dock lines and the fenders, and I'm just heading to this buoy that's here because that's sort of the angle that you're supposed to come in. I can see why. I just want to play it safe. Probably I could have cut the corner a little bit more, but I don't want to risk anything on the last meters. I can see the entrance now for the marina. There's some huge breakers crashing onto that breakwater. <laughs> There's definitely some issue with my steering. The rudder seems to be completely jammed, requiring an immense amount of effort to maneuver. And I'm definitely relieved that I made the passage despite this issue, but I'll need to inspect the bearing once I'm in the marina. Something is seriously wrong here. Okay, how come it looks like there's breaking waves inside the channel? I don't like this. I don't like this at all. It's got a bit of current pushing from the side. So you gotta make sure not to run into any of the buoys whilst you're taking the entrance and filming stuff. There's like a fishing boat right in front of it, so it can't be that bad, but... <laughs> Doug brought me a beer from Maria. I like a little welcome beer. God, I'm so tired. <sighs> Cleared in, officially. So, this was all a bit hectic. So, now we gotta do the... Now that the official part is over, we do the unofficial part. Oh, thank you. And a big one too. Big red. You did awesome. Poseidon. Thanks for a smooth passage. Well, I'm not sure I can, but to be at sea again. The boat is a complete disaster. I went to the pool and had a couple of drinks and said hi to a couple of the marina people and got to know a couple of the people that are here in the marina and it was super lovely everyone was really nice but all i really want to do is eat some mac and cheese go into my little bunk and be there hopefully with bulba she's still outside i think she's happy happy that we arrived and that's it i arrived <laughs> 